Confusion. All right. It's just about that time. Golden Boots, whenever you're ready, take it away.
You're tuned in to KXCI Tucson Locals Only, where we are live in Studio 2A, joined by the one and only Golden Boots. Thanks so much for coming down, you guys. Thank you yeah, so thanks for having us. I love the new sound, feeling, vibe. I love it. I'm so excited. Thanks, thanks for sharing. Yeah, thanks for having us on. Of course. Um, so you're here performing instrumental music. Yep. What made you make the switch? Uh, just to vary stuff up. I think we we did uh, we hadn't really done that before. Mm -hmm. We've done a couple in instrumental songs on records in the past and stuff, but um, it's always fun to do. Yeah. yeah, it's a fun way to get away from just thinking about things in terms of songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're still doing that. We're still performing as a rock band, but right we're doing this do all, as well do not not lest we forget yeah, this way we can do like long sets we can do like two to three hour shows like this yeah. and it's really feels fun yeah um for us anyway but yeah. is it like a reboot yeah it's like a reboot like a yeah golden exactly reboot. Yeah, was we had legally had to do this yeah it's like they <laughs> rearranged the furniture <laughs> and uh, didn't, at night when everyone was sleeping <laughs> exactly. <golden> reboots. when <laughs> You are composing this music. It to me is extremely evocative. Like I have all kinds of cool thoughts and images. What were you thinking when you were composing it? Well, the kind of the basis of this was just to let it organically form. Mm -hmm. We didn't really write like the the melodies and stuff that presented them that we presented tonight for that piece presented themselves during the course of performing it. So we just kind of wrote down some pretty random chord progressions mm -hmm. and we're just like okay just play and so, so it, it's 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 forms on its own so it grew kind of out of jam sessions i style? mean not really because we didn't we didn't like woodshed or anything we're mm -hmm. just like we're just going to go perform mm -hmm. so it's just, just like oh and something catches you're like that's great and then if it's you know it'll just, people will start redoing it and or representing it and be like oh that that was a great hook let's continue to use that one yeah kind of thing yeah so. some of them are long progressions that um me and jeff had written or um and sean rogers had written for a band we have called a uh, srs which is spontaneous response squadron and that was like just to be played for the same chords for long periods of time kind of yeah. based on tidy paul's uh, ad nauseum project and stuff so they've kind of jumped into the boot stuff like this yeah so it all comes together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's um, a lot of fun. So you guys are preparing for a show on the 23rd at EXO where you're going to play this Yeah, we'll music be doing two hours. Or, yeah, two sets of, of this all instrumental yeah. stuff. And Probably we did from that, like 8 to 10 or something, yeah, from 8 I to imagine. 10. We did that there before, and it was a great space for it. It's an incredible space. Yeah, it really so fit that huge room. Huge shout out yeah. to them. Yeah. Does the whale noises bother anybody? Is everyone I'm, okay? I'm cool okay. with the whale noises. I'm, I'm into yeah. the vibe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like whales. yeah. They're like scary whales. Whales in Studio 2A. Actually, I should mention, if you are listening so to this right now, you can also tune in to Facebook, where we are live, and to YouTube, where we are also live. So come and see, hear the whale noises. See the whales. See the whale noises. Yeah. <laughs> like um, and then you have another show, which is a benefit on January 15th. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, we're doing a benefit at Owl's Club for the Southern Arizona AIDS Foundation. Mm -hmm. And um, we're playing with, uh, there's a couple bands playing it with us as well. We're doing a kind of the shorter rock set that night. We're playing with West Oasis and mm -hmm. Cool Funeral. And that's, uh, <laughs> I forget what uh, what time. Uh, their shows start at like 10. They're late shows. So yeah, yeah. Something like that. But that one is a That's benefit. That's a good cause. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's for the syringe access program. Is what oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, at the old funeral home. Yeah. It's yeah. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the irony is beautiful. Yeah. All right. More music, please. Sure. All right. This is a piece that I did that uh, was written, but threw into the uh, to this milieu. If I may. Uh, it's called Tongs.
My name is Sophie, and I am here live in Studio 2A with Golden Boots on Locals Only. Thanks again for coming down, you guys. It is our pleasure. Mm -hmm. And off the bat, we are live on Facebook and YouTube, so tune in. It occurs to me, and I've heard your music, I've seen you live many, many times, and we've been in this room about a year ago all together. I think one thing that is special about Golden Boots is that you take maybe forgotten or unloved or unrecognized sounds and kind of fold them in to make something larger. Um, and I was just wondering, to steal a question from inside the actor's studio, <laughs> do any of you have a favorite sound or noise that occurs to you again and again? I like this one. That one's pretty cool. It's kind of like a ninja sword, yeah. kind of like yeah. that. That's, one That's too. like. <laughs> uh. It's not as cool. And I like that ninja sword. I thought you would never ask. <laughs> Whales. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy's got us all beat <laughs> on that one. The whales are back. Thank you. Uh, we kind of like things that sound a little broken. Yeah. Kind of an island of misfit toys kind of band. Yeah, totally. There's something that's like, you, you take things that are unfancy and then put them together to make something that's very luscious and fancy. Thank you. Yeah. It feels just more real that way or something. I don't know. Yeah. We're going for real here. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys have had a, a busy recent time here a couple of months year busy year oh, yeah can we say yeah years? i'd say it's yeah. been a busy year yeah um for sure you released this record which yeah is, we, did we just, just released out. it yeah very fresh we started a label mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. want to talk about that a little bit we, the record is called night drives volume one yeah, yes volume that's one. the four of us that's you fit three songs on it because they're all really long <laughs> yes yeah, a long record so that's why it's it volume one just, there's hours more of material right. so we're just releasing them in yeah, and are we thinking six segments. volumes? Or? I think, yeah. it's, yeah. As we go, go on, on yeah, as we, and on. Yeah, we did. Those are ones we did with um, Jim Waters at Waterworks, the four of us recorded. And then uh, we did some more tunes yeah, later on at, at uh, Tommy's, Tommy's house, house mm -hmm. on four track that turned out really cool. But um, again, it would, just wouldn't fit on a CD. So, and it, we're not like a triple vinyl would be awesome, but yeah, it's not going to happen. Lots and lots of art. If a lot of people buy the CDs, we can put out a triple vinyl. Hey, and just sit on that. <laughs> you hear that, Jason? <laughs> yeah, sure and right. then record label. What's it called? It's called Compact Disc Records, also called CDR, and uh, it's a bunch of mostly local mm -hmm. bands so far. It's ourselves, um, Whispering Wires, um, Barely Bipedal, mm -hmm. and, and we have some um, upcoming ones. A band from Nantes and Tucson called Rock Roll and Remember, and uh, they're really cool. They're like a garage disco band. So cool. 
And um, there's yeah. A, we're gonna do a spoken word. Yeah, spoken word record. With that, Kyle. Yeah, we're not gonna do the spoken word, but someone else is gonna do a spoken word. We're recording it. Yeah, we're recording right. it. Yeah. So and Chelsea's doing. Chelsea Trejo's expressed interest in putting out. Yeah, we're uh, just hoping to do us. a bunch of stuff. With so how is it? How is it structured? Is it? Is it you guys that are? Are you the the label kings? Yeah, yeah. Cool. We're the big I'd, bosses. That's what we call ourselves. <laughs> yeah. No one uh -huh. else has said that yeah. to us yet. <laughs> Thank you. I feel a lot better about that now. Yeah, so. we just put it. We put it up online, and then we duplicate tapes at the house or burn CDRs, and then. Very low overhead is the mm -hmm. idea. Yeah, it's pretty easy. That's the way it has to be. And, and downloads, of course. Yeah, you know. yeah. And uh, was there something about starting a record label that you, even being seasoned professional musicians, did not expect? Well, we're only uh, a couple weeks into this uh -huh. thing. So, and we've done it before. Oh, you but have? It's been years, I'm sorry? It was years yeah. ago. Yeah. It was a long time ago. I think ago. we it did like it better before. 12 years ago. We probably did. <laughs> well, what was the one in the past? Uh, Warner Gold? Brothers. Was yeah, Warner Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> it got out of control and then we lost. Yeah. Woke up one day lost and we all. didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> we should make a film. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, it was so disturbing. <laughs> that is so great to hear. I think Tucson having a, a lively record label world is very yeah, and useful. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's fun. It's for fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, just yeah, it's a cool way to all just come together and yeah. Yeah, do something. Yeah, it's more about that, you know, like creating a, more of a, you know, re reaching back into that community aspect of, yeah. of things. And With that said, if a young, hip band wanted to get on... Your band? N I don't have oh. a band, oh. but... They can't be too hip, but they could just go to our band camp and write us. Yeah. <laughs> but they can't be too cool. Okay. There's other labels for that. We're for everyone that's not <laughs> cool. Wait, I'm dying to know what's the definition of too cool. I don't know. You, I know, think if you, you, like, you know it when you see it. Yeah. yeah. You, it, just look at you know, it, the opposite you know, you know of us. It's probably that's a good way to start. I don't know. I'm looking at your shoes. <laughs> I just borrowed them from my cool friend. <laughs> <laughs> so good. All right. More music, and then we'll talk again, and then we'll feed you out on more music. Okay. So good? What do you want to do this um, time? Maybe let's do um, pH and then we'll end with a, we'll fade out and alleviate symptoms. Okay, cool. Let's get a samba beat on that little okay. cool box. But, but we'll talk first. Just so, oh, oh, yeah, we'll do a song music, and we'll talk, talk again? Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> Tell me how you like I'm this. hip. I want it to be like...
This is KXCI Tucson. You're listening to Locals Only. My name is Sophie, and we are live in Studio 2A with Golden Boots. Yay! Hi. Tune in on Facebook Live or YouTube Live. And real quick, I'm very ashamed. I completely forgot to do introductions, our, our first talk off the bat, and that is very important. So maybe we can pretend like it's like three-quarters of the way through a live show and the person on mic... It's like, this yeah. over here on the drums. Let's go around and do introductions. All right. My name is Ryan, mm -hmm. and I'm playing the guitar. <laughs> over on the keyboards and saxophone is Tidy Pauls. That's right. Back here in the corner is uh, Mr. Tommy Larkins on percussion. Gong master. And whale gong. And my name's Dimitri on guitar as well. That's Golden Boots. That's uh, so... We are hearing songs off of Night Drives, Volume 1, the new revamped instrumental Golden Boots. In 2019, there are more new experiences on the horizon. I hear tell of dance composition. Yeah, I wanted to mention that we're, we're just in the beginning process of composing for a theatrical dance piece by uh, our good friend Monica Silva, who... Uh, Mr. Tidy Paws and I have worked with before. We did a dance piece with her a couple years ago, along with Andrew Kohlberg. And this is a new one uh, called Octopus Heart, which is, uh, it takes place, she's, in, she's also an ER nurse, so mm -hmm. it takes place in and around the hospital. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be um, pretty, it's really cool concept. It's going to be pretty intense, I think, and also fun. It's going to have a nice uh, um, flow of emotion, I think. And uh, we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be uh, the last weekend of March. Is that part of your setup, Tommy? It's, good, it's a good sound, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> so when you collaborate on a dance piece, yes. do you write the music first with the concept in mind, and then they choreograph based on the music? Um, it's a little bit of all of that at once. Uh -huh. we're, Back and we're forth. We're talking about ideas, we're talking about moods and concepts and what and tempos and what kind of beat mm -hmm. uh, uh, that that they might like for a certain piece what's the energy of that of that section of that scene and we're making some demos and we'll send them off to them and they can move with them mm -hmm. with the choreographer and then they send us notes back and then we tweak it and so forth and so on so wow yeah so you really uh, have like a sense of what it looks like as it's developing yeah, at least these initial stages. I mean, we probably won't be in, get into the room with them for a few more weeks. What's it like when you get into the room with them? What's it like it always performing changes, with dancers? Well, then that's when you know, uh, that's when you really start to do the fine tunings of uh -huh. something. Like, well, how long is this? Oh, this, this part needs to be stretched a little more. This part needs to be trimmed down. Mm -hmm. The dynamic needs to change here. Uh, so those are like the fine tuning parts. And then we'll get into the lighting design. And so cool. we're going to be on stage for this one as, as part of the... Uh, we're just gonna be we'll be in scrubs and stuff and we'll have our own little like office when you're on stage with a dancer is it difficult to stay in your zone just do you get no because we're towards... just we're just blocked we're just locked in our zone like we can't we're not walking around the stage right we're not, right. Gonna, we're not gonna get like radio can't mics and with us yeah we're yeah. in a box we're, we're just in our in our space like the orchestra pit be on stage. Understood. Yeah. 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 Anything else in on the horizon that um, you want to tell Tucson about? We're gonna we're gonna get a new record together. Oh, we've got a. Yeah, we, we did some recordings a, with uh, Ben on drums. We did like a a seven inch over at uh, Midtown Island that mm -hmm. with Matt Rendon. Yeah, that we're working on. Um, our friend Frank is mastering in town, and and uh, that should be done at some point. And I know those things take a while though. So. And that's that's Golden Boots proper. Golden Boots, yeah, yeah rock, rock, rock and boots. Yeah, yeah. And any any a... tropical trio coming up? No, maybe. No, no. Uh, maybe, maybe. We, 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 nothing. That nothing kind of is books. on the on the wayside now. Uh -huh. we will, we'll probably revisit it some at some point. And we're right now we're booking uh, to go back to France and Germany in April. What do uh, uh, just real quick? What do European audiences uh, think about Golden Boots? Or like, how is a European audience reception different from an American they audience? They have a great sense of humor. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just think we were funny. That's awesome. Like yeah, I think that they're, not, they're not sure what to think. They think we're kind of silly. Yeah, which is good. We're, not, we're not offensive to them, but yeah. I think we're just kind of amusing. They seem to really yeah. enjoy it. They give us water and beer and stuff. Yeah, but they feed us. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's 
It's yeah. totally fine. It's so cool. I'm just glad we're not doing poor, anything. Poor, we're those serious. poor, poor men. <laughs> <laughs> Help them. So just to recap, nitty gritty details. We have the benefit on January 15th, yes. and that's at Owl's Club. And then on January the 23rd, you're doing your instrumental at Odyssey. At X, right. Yes. <laughs> at, at, uh, XO. at XO Bar, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything else? And if it. Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. On the 20th, if you're in Phoenix, if you're listening, or you're going to be in Phoenix. There's a whole day at the Art Museum. Yeah, we're museum. playing at the Art Museum, Golden Boots. Are you playing all day? No, we're no. playing for an hour. <laughs> and then Vox Urbana is playing as well. Oh. Which Teddy Paul's is in. a lot of like, experimental music stuff. It's like a whole day of different artists. Yeah, there's cool. tons. It's, it's called kind of Phoenix stuff. Art Amplified. Mm hmm. And. Um, and Tommy's doing a solo piece, and I'm going to do go. something as well. And but there's like I don't know, maybe 40 different artists, and and uh, it looks really cool. And that's at the art museum. It's at the art museum. Tonya. There's going to have artists performing in hallways, and then there's also cool. two stage areas where there's like a band like Vox would play like there and stuff yeah. like that. That sounds amazing. All right, so more music, and we're going to fade out into Amber with yeah, the scratching take us, post. Just Stay take tuned. Us out. All right. Yeah. We're going to play this little jam alleviate called Alleviate Symptoms. Symptoms. Thank you for having us, Sophie. Yeah. Thank you for it's being here. It's always a pleasure. Here. It's so much Truly. fun. Truly.